So what happened to the Dorothy? Yeah. It was sunk in the Mediterranean off the coast of um, Sicily and um, the captain of the ship was grandfather's nephew, Jack Wilson, and it had the French troops on board and most of them were saved. There were only six people actually killed, but it was a torpedo. So it was... Um, so when would that have been then? 17, 1917. Yeah, right, okay. towards the end of the war, really. Now that is mother. She was called Dorothy. And she, uh, she was the one that launched the ship. Yeah. So was the ship named after Dorothy? Yes. She launched the ship and it was Dorothy. Oh, okay. And she was, he was going to, um, grandfather was going to order another ship from Thompson's. Um, but the war came along, 1914, and uh, the, that was never built. How did the ship model come about then? Well, I think they always made models mm. of ships. And um, it must have been a great art, I think. Yes. Mm. So has that been in your family? To as long as I can remember. It, it was there when I was born. It was restored by his father, at least he, he, uh, he got it restored, really, because mother gave up the bigger house when father died mm. and um, gave the ship to my daughter, Margaret, who is called Margaret Crown, you're with them. And um, because you see the Crowns owned the land where the Glass Museum is. Mm -hmm. I tried to get them re-silvered, but they said they couldn't do them because they, the metal underneath is not uh, going to be receptive. So I thought, well, I'll just keep them where they are, keep them brightened up. But they've, um, I think they have probably polished them too much, don't you think? <laughs> I think they look lovely. <laughs> so do you think they would have been used on the ship? Yes, they yeah. were. Yes, yeah. they were on the ship, and then when it was commandeered, it was commandeered, yeah. you see, by the, uh, with the war office. It used to go between Sunderland and um, South, um, South America, mostly. Right. And uh, tea and things like that yeah, used to bring. Yes, but um, at one point it went aground over in there, and they almost g gave it up. They couldn't get it off this. It, it had gone onto the rocks and goodness knows what over there. And they had one final go when the tide was up, and they got it away and back home. So that was that. My husband retired. He became the chairman of the shipbuilding before it was nationalised. That's my husband. Oh, wow. Because, you see, they were all um, involved with shipping because my husband's grandfather was Jackie Crown, who was, um, who, who was uh, the owner of where you people have your glass museum. The Crowns, they've been in London mm -hmm. for generations, I think. And on the seafront at Roca, you've been down there? Mm. Well, you see, Crownville, or Crown, is where all the Crowns lived uh, when they were all young. And Jackie Crown was quite a character, I think. He was uh, well known in, in the yard, because he, he owned that yard that's now the grass with them. And, um, they say that he used to get so excited when there was a launch. Mm -hmm. And the yard is actually next door to the Thompson's yard. You probably know that. Um, but he used to get so excited that he went in after the ship till his top hat floated on the, on the, on the river. 